I'm not sure if things are really bad or if they're really good, or maybe just a combination of both. Hi everybody, today is February 23rd, my name is Craig, and I have a bit of a bipolar outlook right now on how things are. On one hand, things look really bad. The economy is in shambles and it seems to be coming apart at the seams. I heard from Paul Craig Roberts, a respected economist, that unemployment would be at 22% if calculated via the means used in 1980 for the government's official numbers. Citigroup put out a story, or put out a statement that they're going to possibly make people wait seven days to take out any deposits they put in, implying that there might be a potential run on the banks or they're running low on resources. I saw an article about the FDIC being completely unsolvent. And with any bank runs coming, that's not going to work if they need to bail out depositors that have insured deposits at those banks. Underfunded liabilities of the U.S., I know you hear the bailouts, or I'm sorry, the deficit is at $15 trillion, but really it's about five times that if you take into account off-balance sheet liabilities such as Social Security, Medicare, and pension plans that we have to pay but those are kind of part of the national debt because they aren't something we owe to someone, specifically like a treasury bill. They are just funds we're going to have to pay in the future that we owe that if you calculated their debt based on how a company, a private company, calculates their own liabilities, you would have to recognize this as a liability. The government doesn't because they make the rules. So things are really bad on one hand. Things are coming apart at the seams, it seems like and we're in for some bad stuff as far as the economy goes. However, I also have seen some things lately that are very encouraging to me and make me very excited. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the CPAC poll. It's, uh, it was a big convention, a straw poll done there, of all the Republicans, supposed to be the Republican, Republican establishment. Ron Paul won in, uh, with a huge edge over the next candidate. He won at 31%. Mitt Romney was second with 22%. That's 150% of what Mitt Romney got. Sarah Palin, 7%. This is some good news. And people are starting to see this guy's the man. They're starting to see through the facade of this, this you know, the, the big government Republicans, the warmonger Republicans that have done nothing but take their money and spend it overseas and bail out the banks over the last nine years. So people are starting to see that. I was talking to a friend the other day who I had no idea knew anything about politics at all, and I just dropped Ron Paul's name. He's like, "Oh, Ron Paul, I know him. He's a great guy. He would be he would be great for this place." So he is he's not a kook. He's not some fringe guy. Hopefully, he will run in 2012 because I think he's certainly electable. So that's a big story. I think that that happened. Uh, Glenn Beck is starting to lose credibility. He's lost a lot of his viewers since that Deborah Medina debacle. It remains to be seen what's going to happen with Deborah Medina in Texas. I sincerely hope that she gets into the runoff and people are seeing through this just total hogwash that the media is portraying her as some nut job, just like they do to Ron Paul. And so I'm very hopeful for that. I'm very hopeful for all these things. Uh, at the same time, I'm very worried about the future in the economy. So maybe that's what it takes for people to finally wake up to the lies is that they see things unraveling. They see all their friends unemployed. They see that they're, they can't buy as much as they used to. And they see people getting foreclosed on and their friends and neighbors struggling. So maybe that's what it takes. Maybe we can look at the silver lining of this cloud of the economy basically imploding and see that it's teaching people that we cannot continue on with a certainly unsustainable debt and an unsustainable system and the pseudo-capitalism that we have with the banks and the government pretending to have a free market but really just bailing each other out and taking our money. So that's not going to go on anymore. We can't let it happen. Even though some things are going to get worse before they get better, I certainly think. Prepare for what you can. Keep Just make friends with your neighbors. Keep telling people about this kind of stuff and we'll get through it. It'll be fine. We've gotten through bad things in the past. We've gotten through a previous depression. Overall, if I had to pick one, I would say things are looking really good. So that's all I got. Let me know what you think, really bad or really good, and any positive things you've seen lately that make you feel like we're not completely screwed, just kind of screwed, and things will be okay. Thank you.